the lobby of the Okinomiya police was just oh, like that of any other police station. It could hardly be said to have a welcoming atmosphere. Some of the tiles on the floor were broken and cracked, so sometimes people tripped on them. Those spots were covered by pieces of cardboard, and there was a sign that said, Caution, watch your step. There was also a pot with a dead plant in it. It was far from a friendly lobby. Unlike hospitals and banks, there wasn't a line of people at the counters of the police station, but there were a few sitting on a sofa waiting for the counters to open. And they would open soon. Some workers were standing by on the other side of the counters. Otaka was snobbish enough that Oishi didn't want to deal with him first thing in the morning. If only he was a pretty young woman with big boobs. Oishi and his men were on a very important job. If Otaka found out that Rika Fruity's death had been faked, the operation was finished. They are, they're only able to shake up the enemy now, while Rika Fruity's death is still in the books. They had to stall for every minute, every second they could, so Tomotake could seize hold of the tail that was popping out. So, if the truth about Rika Fruity's death was exposed before Tomotake had that chance, the enemy would recover. The emergency manual would regain its credibility, and although the enemy wouldn't enact it immediately, they would try again for sure. Rika Furude had detected the conspiracy ahead of time, but that was a miracle. The divine wins. Japan had prevented Mongol invasions twice in the past with such miracles, but nothing like that happened during World War II. They might not be so lucky next time. They might not get another chance. There might be no next time at all. Unless they defeated them this time, they would never win again. While it was possible to do some serious damage, a tied game would inevitably lead to the enemy's victory. They had to completely expose what the enemy was up to, allowing Tomotake to call in a suppression unit to defeat them. That was why Oishi had to stop the vanguard here. His job, therefore, was an extremely important one. If the enemy's conspiracy succeeded, Hinamizawa would be destroyed, and more than 2,000 villagers would be executed in a gas disaster. Either way, the incident would never go public. But people's lives depended on him. Oishi was violating his professional duties. However, he had to do what was right. Oishi thought back to when the old man taught him that. Someone who, despite the hot weather, was wearing a suit, came in through the automatic sliding door. He had two of his colleagues with him. He was showing off his authority, like he always did. Oh, Hello, Oishi-san. You don't know me like that. もうあなたに組んで呼ばれるような立場ではありません。まあまあ、そんなこと言わずに、大高君。同じ宅でマージャンを打ってよしみじゃないですか。Otaka seemed disgusted to hear that. He used to boast about being a good Mahong player, but Oishi once beat him badly in front of many people, which hurt his pride. あなたとゆっくり休校を温めたいところですが。今日は急ぎの用事がありますので、失礼させていただきます。まあまあ、そう言わずに、交流剣道大会で症状の引っ越えた子を忘れちまったと。あんたが私に泣きついてきたんで、こっそりステージ裏で書いてあげたから、無事
誰かが誤解してるんじゃないですか私はそんなこと言ってませんよ。<笑>県警本部はあなたの島だろうが、あいにくここは沖の宮署でね。あんたの思い通りにはそうそうならんってこってす。ほう。それはどういう意味ですか、大石さん。あんたがここへ何しに来たかは知らんが、あんたの島は五蔵だ。沖の宮じゃない。おとなしく引き上げてもらいましょう。な、何の権限があってだねそちらこそ何の権限があってですかな県警本部で現在捜査中のある秘匿捜査事件についてだ。その件に関連があると思われる身元不明死体がこちらにあると聞いてねなら電話でお問い合わせを。Well, Kinamiya is in a rich neighborhood. This isn't a place where someone in a custom made suit should be. Naruhodo. Do ya a Kanshiki Karo Renshu to Tsurum de Rio Disney. Shocho Kara Kenshi Hoko, Sumete Kenke Hombuni Hikiwatosio, Ereka Kiteru Hazes. So can you say to a Kanshiki Kara Shocho ni Setsume a Haitiro Hazes? Mada Kenshi Chu de Ne. ちょいとうちのミスで身元が特定されたような情報が内部に流れちまったようですがあですので報告書を出すにはちょいとお時間をいただかないとならないわけですならその検視に我々も立ち会わせてもらおう嫌ですはっはあ私は県警本部の秘匿事件担当としてああ私は私は私は私はそれが本当なら私はあんたの刑事魂を疑わない刑事魂は高潔だそりゃお給料がもらえなかったらこんな商売誰だってやりゃしないですですがねそれだけじゃ測れない魂がなきゃ刑事あんたにその魂があるってんなら私はここを譲りますよ The look in Oishi's eyes made it clear the anger that was roiling within him. As he looked into those eyes, Otaka recalled all kinds of frightening memories. Otaka didn't want Oishi to sense his fear, but he couldn't prevent himself from loudly swallowing. ほれ。な、なんですって。あんたの刑事魂が私の刑事魂に負けないくらいに重いものなら私なんか簡単にどかせちゃうはずですよ。Show <笑> How could he? How could he do this? Otaka was confused. Or maybe it's like, you know, Oishi, so it's like, Otaka? Something like that? Otaka was an elite policeman at the prefectural police headquarters. He believed academic background and performance record were enough to earn trust. He's been working hard under that belief. But Oishi doesn't acknowledge that, and he doesn't even respect him. He's a scumbag. He was the worst type of person. One who tried to establish their meaning and purpose only through rough means. Refusing to acknowledge everything about their superiors in order to protect their own pride, as uncivilized people often did. Otaka had been thinking ever since they worked together. Why did people trust in someone like Oishi? Why did people respect someone like him? Why did people appreciate someone like Oishi more than they did Oitaka? Get out of my way, punk! I'll beat you up! Hmm? <laughs> なるほど。全部話せないなら一部でもいい。あんたはその仕事に何を背負ってますか Is he gonna punch him in the face? 背負う何を言ってるんだ
was going to be like, What are you talking? And then he punches him in the face. <laughs> その親戚や。何の話か。さっぱりだ。腹を割ってやる。あんたの飼い主は恐ろしいことを企んでいる。あんたはそこまで想像がついちゃいないだろう。何千人もの人が不幸になる。恐ろしい陰謀を企んでい
straight for the chest. <laughs> Quick, call the police! There's people fighting in the police station! <laughs> it was like watching a match between a sumo wrestler and a small child. Because Oishi's a big guy. No matter how many times Otaka tried to tackle Oishi, he simply crumbled against him. Oishi stood firm, as if his feet were rooted to the earth. By the third time Otaku trump tumbled to the floor, or Otaka, <laughs> he finally realized that he had been provoked. He caught his breath and fixed his hair. わかりました。ならば申し上げましょう。私が担当している事件はあなたもご存知の<笑><笑> なにしろ疑われているのは南沢地区では新興場のマスコットとも言える少女の品野です。それが事実かどうかすぐに確かめなければなりません。だから、現場で説明したでしょう。現在調査中。まだまだお時間がかかります。いや、言いたくなかったん
good timing on their part. <laughs> People continue to whisper. Representative Sonazaki is a big name around here, Otaka thought. <laughs> Even gangsters give way if someone mentions his name in Okinamiya. Hehehe. <laughs> we have baby music. Oishi suddenly started to talk about something completely different. In fact, Oishi was looking at something behind Otaka. Huh? Who was he talking to? Otaka wondered. An old-fashioned elderly man and a lady in a kimono were standing behind him. When Otaka's eyes met with hers, she smiled at him. She's definitely my type, Otaka thought. No, my son. I guess he doesn't know who these people are. <laughs> the elderly man continued to listen with a puzzled expression. Huh? Exactly. That's what I was saying. <笑><笑><笑> <laughs> Otaka couldn't understand why Oishi and this lady were laughing. ちょいとやり口が汚いんじゃないかいって言ったらさ。サブローさんがそれは抗議した方がいいって言って、こうしてついてきてくれたわけなんだよ。ああ、行動の樹木は市役所の管轄ですからね。よくそういうのうちに来
I don't like mushrooms. It's unrelated to this conversation, but it's it's funnier than if I say I hate one thing, you know? Shiitake mushrooms are like are like lying mushrooms, so they're even worse. Maybe it wasn't a timing, like incredible timing. Maybe he asked her to come in because he thought something like this would happen. The police officers, the citizens in the lobby, and Otaka's colleagues didn't know what was going on. Ah, uh, uh, ししぼねに行く選出の権威。そう。いや、お二人とも県警剣道部師範大の大高君に稽古をつけるために本日はお越しくださったんですよね。なははは。朝から本当に申し訳ございません。さあさあ、先生方をどうじょうにお通しして